to support something that I know from personal experience is a horrible decision that they're going to regret. Oh, Kurt, can I have a word with you? Oh, um, I'm gonna go. No, you know, Ralph, stay. Kurt, I took what you said to heart, and I thought long and hard about it, and it occurred to me that you may have a point. Okay, maybe Brittany and I are too young to get married. I mean, after all, that's why it didn't work out with you and Blaine, right? Or maybe it didn't work out because you're a judgmental and a tyrannophile with a mouth like cat's ass. Maybe Blaine got tired of hearing a shrill, self-aggrandizing lecture about how you felt the two of you were at the very apex of the gay rights movement every time you so much as cooked macaroni and cheese together or farted. Maybe Blaine didn't want to be with someone who looks like they just removed their top row of dentures every time they smile or someone who doesn't dress like an extra out of one of Andy Dick's more elaborate wet dreams. Maybe Blaine grew weary of dating a breathier, more feminine Quinn Fabray. Maybe he finally got freaked out by your strange, obsession with old people that causes you to skulk around nursing homes like one of those cats that can smell cancer. Maybe he got tired of watching you drape yourself on every piano you happen past to entertain exactly no one with. Say some song that Judy Garland choked on her tongue in the middle of or some sassy old Broadway standard made famous by another dead alcoholic crone. Maybe Blaine woke up one day and said, you know what? I don't want to marry a sexless, self-centered baton twirler. Maybe I need someone who knows more than three dance moves. The finger wag, the shoulder shimmy, and the one where you pretend to twirl two invisible rainbow colored ribbons attached to your hips. So you know what? Maybe that's why it didn't work out. Maybe it has nothing to do with me and Brittany. Maybe it's just that you are utterly, utterly intolerable. Maybe that has something to do with it. Why are you using Mounds bars? Aren't jelly beans more traditional? Well, Mounds bars are the lesbians of candies. Jelly beans are the gays, of course. I used my better than yours math brain to figure out exactly how many minutes Santina and I have spent together, and I'm putting the Minnie Mounds bars into this giant jar to give to her as an engagement present. I am so sorry that I interrupted your proposal. I'm bitter. I have this firm belief that people shouldn't get married until they're 30, <laughs> but I believe in you and Santana. You remind me of Blaine and me. <laughs> Except for the fact that she and I are actually still together. I like to believe that we're just on a hiatus. And I like to think that Lord Tubbington isn't secretly videotaping you on the shower and selling it on Craigslist. Doesn't make it true. Okay, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but um, he's moving in with Dave Krofsky. You know, Blaine, not Lord Tubbington. I was just helping them decorate yesterday. Wow. Yay. Where's the bed? I had it removed because when I pictured you two having sex, I imagined a U-Haul mounting a moped. You need to start getting over him, okay? Move on. Start seeing somebody else. I'm sure there's another person in this world who will understand and appreciate your particular brand of eccentricity. I know, but I just feel like if I start seeing someone else or even just go on a date that I'll be admitting that it's over. And I, I, I don't want to do that. You know, <clears throat> these mountain spars are delicious, but you have to eat them. If you just hold them in your hand, hoping that you might get to eat them one day, they're going to melt. Then you'll look like somebody just pooped in your hand. Don't let waiting for things to maybe work out with Blaine turn you into the guy who looks like somebody just pooped in your hand. I've missed you, Britt. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm awesome.